off an idea. Well, I just think, first of all, my daughter went to school when she was five, my son was four, and they were so excited, they were so ready for it. I genuinely believe that. And I often think if adults had the same enthusiasm as four and five-year-olds, it's such a magic age, the world would be such a better place. But I like the fact that primary one, it was learning through play, but the the teachers weren't being too thorough. Um, you know, it was very gentle with like, you know, writing in their jotters. My kids thrived on the independence of that. They were ready at four and five for a routine. They were ready for more structure. And it, it wasn't something that they found stressful. They really enjoyed just because as I say, mostly, I mean, my mom was a teacher for many, many years, and it was always primary one, we learn through play. And we know research shows that adults and children learn best through play. And I think they still get that opportunity. Even in primary three, there was a sand um, tray and a water tray in my son's class. And I thought that was really good. You know, they've got the balance right. The experiences children have had before school, and Jojo's obviously had a literacy-rich environment in which they felt supported and ready to read. Who held your kids back? You know, you know, I think what I've really seen from teachers, they're amazing, is that they take each child on a case-by-case -case basis. So our son was actually put into, because he was one of the youngest in his class, in a composite class. And we were quite concerned at first, but then sort of chatting to the parent, the, the teachers and other parents, they really do take each child and they, you know, they nurture them. And I, they I, see I them do wish, Jojo, that the, the, the teachers that I know who are so bothered that they have to ensure that all children are progressing in literacy and numeracy because of the demands from the local authority we're here to speak and i'm just going to say as well having gone through what we have the past two years i would much rather time and funds were put into the well-being for the pupils of you know all ages and for the teachers as well you know we can't forget what we've been through and i think investing the time into that and seeing children because it's not just about maths and english it's about well-being that's now I, the first part of the kids report that i 